makes us feel like we're making progress, right? Like we're laying the groundwork for scalability, which is exactly what we need to be doing, given how fast we're growing. Yeah, I'm Mike Merritt, and I run Customer Success for Planet. Um, we have one of the largest satellite constellations out there. We image most of the world every single day. We had a team that was transitioning from what I would call customer service to customer success. And because of the nature of our industry, one of the key requirements for this team is industry expertise, right? They need to be geospatial experts, remote sensing experts, but they didn't have a formal background in customer success specifically, particularly the CSM uh, role. The challenges that we, we face in general, right, is trying to drive value with our customers. And the CSMs at that time, most of them, and the majority of their time was spent more in the reactive mode than the proactive mode. It's a mindset shift, um, really, that you have to, to make. And I was trying to find a way to accelerate that and move that forward as, as much as we can, kind of draw a line before, or draw a line between where we were before and where we're going. If I can sit down with you and tell you all about customer success, but it was daunting to think about, okay, first we got to train the director level, then we got to train the individual contributor level, and every new hire, again, we're hiring quite a bit, we're growing really fast. So how do we like do that and put all the effort um, into place it, when we have other things to focus on too, right? That's just one of many. didn't want to prescribe something to my whole team that, you know, like I had it on purpose, for example, like the formal training. And so one of the first things we did was we set up both. So I went through the training, but also we had a small group of CSMs try another provider, complete those, and then we fed back and figured out which one was more effective. For me, the big eureka moment was really to like, just knowing that every CSM we hire is gonna go through this. And so I can hire people that are experts and not worry as much about them making the leap to CSM. I think what I would say the aha moment is it allows us to increase the pool of talent that we go after. CSMs now, when they start, they're able to come on board and contribute much faster. So we've kind of handled that on both sides, right? Like, let's put an onboarding program in place to make sure they understand the product and the industry and all that, um, the solutions, but also having that CSM background training, they get this done like in the first two weeks that they've started so that they're ready to contribute. And we've seen our latest CSM hires have been contributing after a month which is for us is like a big deal because it used to be three months. Now it's more like a month, which is, you know, I'm very happy with. Yes, I definitely would recommend success coaching. It's, I think it's the best value. I think it's got the most customer success insights, specifically with real world examples from people that have done it. You know, the course is just one piece, right? You start with the course, then you get introduced to the community and then you're you're learning because customer success is iterating every single day, right? There's new things and innovations coming out. It's a fast changing field. And so I like that connection to the community. <laughs>